Hello, today we are looking at a free selection of instruments by Native Instruments. They do have a lot on offer for free. A lot of it works within their free contact player 7. Now, what are we specifically looking at? We're going to be looking at factory selection too and thumbing our way through some of those free samples there. But they also have on offer Irish Harp, Haifa, I think that's how it's pronounced. Uh, I'm not going to even bother trying to pronounce that one. Ethereal Earth. <clears throat> Analog Dreams, Jacob Collier's Audience Choir, which we did look at in a previous video. And they have some free other little plugins as well, Ozone's 11 EQ, especially if you're new to EQ, that can be really helpful. It's got this auto assist sort of thing. And well, you can see there on the screen, all the other cool free stuff that Native Instruments offers. I'll leave a link in the description so you can access all of this if you've not already. Now let's move into Contact Player 7. Again, specifically, we are looking at Flat Factory Selection 2. In it, you have a couple of different folders, acoustic, band, beat, synth, and vintage. We'll flick through a little bit of everything. We're not going to have time to go through absolutely everything. But one thing I will say before we jump into the sounds, uh, especially if you're starting out and you're just diving into some of the free samples out there or even have bought some stuff, do not underestimate the free virtual instruments that come within your DAW, especially if you have Logic Pro X or even Cubase, they have some amazing free virtual instruments that come with that software already and mess around, play around with those before you even bother going out and buying stuff. Obviously test out the free stuff, but don't think the free stuff is going to be better than the stuff you already have in your DAW. I know some great composers throughout my life who, especially when they started out, used stuff from their DAW and can make it sound good. Anyway, with that said, let's now jump into this beautiful selection of free stuff that Native Instruments offers. We'll start by just flicking through some of the acoustic stuff. I'll talk about the things I like and don't like about it, but let's just have some samples and sounds first. Now, this one off the bat comes soloed. I like unsoloing this, adding a little bit of release and playing chords with this because it's absolutely beautiful. comes out of its shell when you add a little bit of release and turn the solo off. Yeah, the solo is okay. The legato is not very convincing to me personally, but that just adds so much character when you just add that little bit of release. And even now, it kind of works a little bit better just by playing with the release. Now you do have ornaments down at the bottom, although you will know if you add release, that will mess those ornaments up. Um, but simply hit a note. and they will trigger a selection of different sort of ornaments. Again, I probably need to fine tune that a little bit better. Now you have a release noise as well. Which can kind of help with your legato as well because you have the sound of it coming off. There's a tack there as well. I love how basic it is. I really wish this was dynamic. I know for some of them it is controlling the, the dynamic of the sound. Uh, you can control the expression. So you do have slight control over the volume of the sound, but this is tremolo which sounds quite artificial in my opinion. You do have effects there in the background that you can mess with and some little settings. I love how native instruments lay out their instruments. They have a premium feel to them. But let's move on. Lots of sounds to go through. I think this is pronounced oud. It's like a guitar-like sound. I love that. Again, this is tremolo for some reason. Quite an artificial one. You can press the dampening button and that gives you some shorts, which I really like. With the tremolo sounds awful. And you 
have chords as well, just about everything there. So you can get some really nice effects. We go for major actually. And that does work with a dampener off as well. Uh, you can mess with the sound. To me, it just kind of takes the low end off that. I don't really like it personally. I mess with the decay, solo it. You do have ornaments at the bottom as well. So nice added touch there. Again, same effects and settings there at the top. So you can add chorus, delay, tape, EQ, um, which is great. Again, for beginners who are just starting out messing with plugins, because a lot of plugins will have these sort of settings. Right. Next, we'll look at one more acoustic instrument before we dive into others. bit of a shaky sound but it's it, it can be a nice effect as well again this one is off about solo you can take that off add a little bit of release and just bring it out of its shell a little bit with a little bit of reverb i wonder if we have a reverb in the effects there's a convolution so we'll just have to use that beautiful dreamy effect but that is something you can do off the bat is quite a nice intimate sound you do also have a release sound as well a release noise like the other wind instrument nice little staccato ornaments as well over here which we can actually turn on or off And that release noise is really messing with them. <laughs> and probably need to add a little bit of that and a little bit of that. There's a bit of fine tuning I find with the ornaments. But overall, another beautiful and cool little sound. But that's what we're going to look at from the acoustics. Um, look at some of these band sounds now. Now, I love the Mark II Classic. It's like an electric key and absolutely gorgeous. sound and you can add stuff to that the amount of vibrato we're getting the speed kind of a nice effect there's also noise on the line i believe oh so that's the release noise i wish they would put release and noise i think that might be a little error on that part anyway so that's that sound just thins it a bit and drive it there a little bit uh, again we have effects in the background the same that we've already seen uh, with all the other ones so that i think is one of my favorite ones but that's more personal taste there is a rock guitar which pairs quite nicely with the one you get in logic 
off and get a more pure sound. Pick up. Tremolo works really nicely with this one, and you can really fine tune your sound with the pickup. There is this, yep, off noise, release noise, and more tone over this side. You can turn the wire for the mod wheel or auto. Overall, a very versatile and free rock guitar. <laughs> Just one of many. There are some bass guitars in there as well. You've got the classic bass here. Different stops which is always nice. Turn the compression on and off. You've got your wah. And just give it a little bit more of a thump. You've got those settings at the end. But overall, Overall, a very versatile bass guitar that, again, is entirely free. Moving on, you also have a drum kit as part of this collection. What I really like about this is, of course, you can do your own thing, play the sounds you want and make your own beats, but you can also just use the beats that they've already made for you within it. So pick whatever you want. You've got a very wide selection from jazz to funk. You've got some downtown, some more classic stuff as well. And all you do is just trigger it with the purple up here. And so you can see there we're going through a couple different beats. Just hit the same one again and it just stops it. You can re-trigger latch. Tempo as well, length bars, lots of stuff you can do with effects. There, There is also a mixer so you can go in and fine tune how your drum kit sounds really nice especially for beginners and those starting out doing some drum stuff that's a really fun one to mess with and play with you also have a street knowledge kit as well here a couple different kits different sounds whatever you're going for so that's nice different sound drum kits again a wide selection of stuff there in the background but let's move on from band let's go to beats got color and we've got distorted another different type of drum machine very similar to the last the purple triggers stuff well you can do your own stuff down there of course pick your beats out from here Or make your own. So there you go, more stuff. Uh, and those are very, very similar. If we just show you the distorted one as well. Same thing, just a little bit distorted. 
so that's beats. Uh, synths, we have a couple of fun little synths in here. Arp spaces, kits, leads, mallets, pads, sequences, and some soundscapes there as well. So a nice mix. We'll start with our creamy drops. But what I like with this package is you get such a variety of sounds, everything from acoustic to ethnic to synth. <laughs> Hit on. Again, drums very similar to the ones we've already seen. Nice little effects there in the background to put a lead on hard and dirty. Fun little thing to mix with there, A and B. Anyway, let's move on to our mallet startup. Or maybe you want something more paddy, we can go with something like this. So that's another fun one. And then last but not least for us, since we have a soundscape polarization. Very nice variety. And again, we're barely scratching the surface of these sounds. You can go into the effects and adjust them and have a bit of fun and mess around and wholeheartedly worth exploring. Anyway, let's move on to our vintage uh, Contemp Analog Melody. Again, we have the chords, different playing styles there. There's a cutoff as well, if you really make it drive and dirt, or make it fat. It's like a chorus sort of effect. Oh.
So you can really go just <laughs> ham and have a lot of fun and really create some really cool and unique sounds. And well, the original of that, we just turn the effects on. You know, from that to something a bit bonkers, but there you have it. Uh, drum machine, again, another drum machine. We have definitely a few of those for you to choose from. There you have it, another one of those uh, F100 flutes. That looks like some fun. Piano EP10. String Melody Orchestra, and I promise this will be our last one. <laughs> So not real strings, but that's not the point of it. Anyway, that's a really nice collection. I kind of wish they had an orchestral selection. I believe they did in Factory Selection 1, you know, with some basic strings, brass and woodwind. But overall, we cannot complain. That's a really nice selection. And you've got quite the variety. There's definitely something for everybody there. And I've definitely been reminded of some classics there that I think I'm going to be using. I might even try and compose a piece just using a Factory Selection 2. There's definitely plenty of choice in terms of genre but a lot of fun and well worth revisiting or downloading it if you've already visited this before but i've hoped you've enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one